Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Michelle Wolf just hit with devastating blow to her ego. It's not over. Sarah Sanders needs your help. Prior to this past weekend's White House Correspondents' Dinner, you probably hadn't heard of Michelle Wolf. Lacking class and talent, she resorted to tactics employed by another redheaded comedian, Kathy Griffin, and intentionally trashed those within the Trump administration in a desperation move to make herself relevant in entertainment. For as much as liberal, often D-list celebrities hate who is currently in the White House, they sure do like to benefit from them. They lack the ability to create material anyone finds funny. So they go with the cheap shots that will get a reaction out of both sides of the aisle, each for different reasons. This doesn't make you famous, it makes you infamous, often resulting in a career that comes to a crashing end, just ask Griffin, who can't seem to get a job anywhere now as she's become a toxic enemy to the industry. Some, including Wolf, will never learn. But now she's been hit with that lesson she can't ignore having now been delivered a devastating blow to her ego. Rather than acknowledging the backlash and making things right so she can move on with a shred of dignity, she's parading around today claiming she's proud of her disparaging statements. She might want to slow that roll because she's about to eat those words with what's coming her way from Sarah Huckabee Sanders supporters. If one thing is for sure, it's the massive impact that pro-Trump citizens have when banding together to defend our core beliefs. The devastation in the NFL is one of the biggest examples, Griffin's career destruction is another, and soon it could be Wolf on the receiving end. If you stand by Sarah Huckabee Sanders or even just the Trump administration, there's one thing you can do to help karma come quickly to Wolf who thinks she's funny and refuses to apologize. Wolf has her own new show on Netflix called The Break with Michelle Wolf, which is part of the reason she was even offered the honor of an invite to the White House dinner, in which she accepted just to take advantage of it. A petition is now going around and gaining speed asking Netflix to cancel Wolf's new show. Note. This is not an attack on free speech. Wolf Cannon did say what she wanted, without respect for others which she feels she's deserved, but conservatives are not. Free speech comes with consequences when used in a way that's disparaging to others. Conservatives don't even have to say anything derogatory and are still accused of it. Yet when a liberal feminist verbally ambushes an innocent woman with a barrage of personal insults, there's no recourse, unless we as conservatives fight back. Silence is Consent has started a petition via Change.org for Netflix to end Wolf's show before it begins this month on their streaming network. The petition reads, While we believe in the freedom of speech, we also believe everyone should be held responsible for their words. At the White House Correspondents' Dinner, Michelle Wolf crossed the line from mere critic and social commentator into the realm of hate speech, with distasteful attacks against other women. We, the paying subscribers of Netflix, do not want to fund or provide a platform to anyone who would use hate speech or personal attacks for a laugh. Ms. Wolf's later statements indicating she wouldn't change a word of her hateful monologue show she is incapable of showing common decency towards other women she disagrees with. We ask that Netflix cancel their planned broadcast of The Break with Michelle Wolf. Silence is consent notes, the petition, which can be signed by clicking here, will be passed on directly to Netflix by change.org if it receives a significant number of signatures. People want to send this message to Michelle Wolf, who has freely let everyone know how she feels, which goes both ways. It should not be acceptable for a person on the left to abuse their First Amendment right when they are constantly trying to prevent conservatives on the right from using theirs in a respectable and constitutional manner. This double standard has got to end. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.